Happy September, everyone, and welcome to Real Estate Talks with Tessa. I'm Tessa Strong, your Victoria Realtor. Now, let's get into some August month-ending market stats. 545 properties sold this August over the Victoria Real Estate Board. That is the exact same amount that sold last August, plus one and a 16.5% de decrease since July. So month over month, a little dip in sales, but year over year, there has been no changes there. Interestingly enough, condo sales were actually up year over year by 10.4% and single family home sales were actually down 7.7% year over year. I find this interesting because the condo market has felt kind of slow, so it is good to see that there's been an increase in sales year over year in that market in particular. Now I just want to say about the 16, just over 16% decrease in sales from July to August. So on that, um, August is usually a slower month, so this is a normal seasonal trend. Lots of people go away for vacations in the month of August, they're spending time with their family, their friends, they're out of town, they're not necessarily looking to put their home on the market or move right before the busy start to the fall, which is September when you see your kids going back to school, maybe you have kids going off to university, it is a busy time, for, time of the year and that is why usually there's a dip in activity in August. Active listings are up year over year though at the end of the month, so we have almost 3,200 active listings across the Victoria Real Estate Board for August, and that is an approximately 28% 20 increase year over year. So again, more inventory available as we've seen um, the past couple of months when comparing last year to this year. There's options out there for buyers looking to buy. Now let's get into some prices. I know everyone's always curious what the average home price and condo price is in Greater Victoria. So we're going to start with single family homes for August this year. The average price of a single family home in Greater Victoria is around $1.275 million. That is a slight decrease from this time last year, but very, very slight. I would say it's very comparable. Now condo prices year over year are again very consistent and similar to last year. There's been a slight dip in the price, but right now condos are sitting at $597,000 for the average price in Greater Victoria. Again, the change is not too big, only by about $10,000. And now for townhomes. Townhome prices are down slightly year over year as well. Last year, they were around $845,000. This year, August, average price of a townhome is about $823,000. So again, all of these categories, single family homes, condos, townhomes, the average price is very similar to last year. So it remains consistent, I would say. Now for a quick financing update. So the past couple of Bank of Canada announcements have been very, very positive. We have had now a couple of decreases for the policy rate by 25 basis points. The last decrease was September 4th at the last announcement, another 25 basis points decrease. So now we're sitting at a rate of 4.25%. The next announcement is October 23rd, so stay tuned for that. But people are thinking that there's going to be another decrease of another 25 basis points. This is great news for the variable rate holders out there as their mortgage rates are tied to this changing interest rate. So when this goes down, mortgage rates and therefore their payments will also go down if they're on a variable mortgage. But mortgage rates in general have been going down slightly. We're seeing some really good rates out there. You can get three five-year rates in the fours now, which is huge. That's great news. That would be for a fixed term. Variable terms are still a little bit higher than that, but on that downward trajectory, which is great for buyers who are looking to get pre-approved. With your pre-approval, you can now get approved for more than you would have back in the winter and the spring before all of these rate decreases. 
Again, happy fall to all you who are watching there, and I hope you saw some value in this video. Feel free to let me know in the comments too if there's any other specific informations on a month-to-month -month basis that you want to see and want me to share the details of. I'm happy to include those in my future videos. Okay, happy September. Bye for now.